how to install the uh, iPhone theme version 2.2 for Microsoft Windows XP and uh, Vista as well as uh, Microsoft Windows 7. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the theme and you can do that by going to your internet browser. If There we go. <clears throat> I'm personally using Mozilla Firefox. Sorry about the slowness. Okay, and you need to come up to your address bar and type in www.lg-view.com <coughs> and click search or press enter on your um, keyboard. Once you get here, make sure that you're logged in and that you're on the home page. You can click home there to ensure that you are. And what you want to do is come down to Themes, click there, and you're going to see some child boards here. And what you want to do is just scroll down to the subject board until you get till you see iPhone theme version 2.2, and you click that. Then the post will the first post here. You'll see the um, information about the iPhone theme, but if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the first post, well here's a preview, but if you scroll all the way down you're going to see several files that you can download. Uh, these are zipped files, so you need to know which version of the phone you have, if it's the CU920, CU915, or TU915. If you have the, whichever version you have, download the correct .zip file for your phone. I have the CU920, so I need to download that click on that link and then a little box will pop up here for you to save the file. So go ahead and save the file there. You need to make sure that all of your downloads are going to your desktop. And you can do that especially if you have Mozilla Firefox by clicking on tools and going to options and then you'll see save files to desktop. If it doesn't say desktop there you can click browse and uh, and direct those to your desktop. Okay, so now we can minimize that. Oh, let's reveal our icons. And you'll see here, iPhone CU920. Alright, now this is a uh, winrar.zip file, so what we need to do is right click on it and come up to Extract Files. Okay, and once the extraction path is open, you need to select Desktop just by clicking it once to highlight it and click OK and you'll see it read over to your desktop. And right here is what the file is. Once it is unpacked, it says iPhone CU920. Okay, now if you open the iPhone CU920 folder, you're going to see a README uh, text document and a folder called iPhone 2.2. Now, this is for memory card installation only. I'm going to make some videos for, um, for phone's memory but this is for memory card only. So what you need to do is set your LG View now to mass storage mode um, and you need to connect it to the data cable. Once you've connected it you're going to see this little uh, window pop up. It's, this is the autoplay window. You want to double click open folder to view files and this, the window that it pops up, will be the root of your memory card. And after you've installed the EIP, you're going to see a themes folder here. What you want to do is double click that. And then inside, you're going to see slide, default, and Walkman, and whatever other themes you have downloaded. Now, what you need to do is come over to the iPhone CU920 window and grab this iPhone 2.2 folder, drag it over to the root of your, or to the themes folder, and drop it in. And you will see that it is adding to your other themes. Now this could take a, a few minutes to do, um, depending on the theme. Some themes will go really quickly, some themes will take a little bit longer, depending on how complex they are. About 
10 seconds remaining. Okay, once it is written over, you'll see the iPhone 2.2 folder appear into your Themes folder. Now, what you need to do now is uh, edit your Themes list so that you can uh, put the <coughs> iPhone theme on the Theme Manager. So what you need to do is come to Theme List and double click, and you're going to see this appear. Now, if it doesn't look like this, perhaps it looks like this. If it looks like this, it's incorrect, and you need to come up and, and click Format here and turn Word Wrap off. Okay, so now if you place your cursor just before that greater than sign here, just before Themes List, and you return once or press Enter one time, it's going to move down a line. Then what you need to do is you need to come up to the line just below your last installed theme and tab it over to where everything is even. Everything is going in a perfect row. And then you need to start your theme line. So you add a greater than sign. You type in I, capital P, H-O-N-E. Capitalization is very important. Tab over to just under theme name, capital T-H-E-M-E, -E, capital N-A-M-E. -E. An equal sign, quotation mark, Type in I, capital P, H O N E, again. End your quotes. Tab over to location. Type in L O C A T I O N, capital L there. And you need an equal sign, a quotation mark, a zero, and another quotation mark. Tab over to folder name, capital F O L D E R, capital N A M E, there's no space there and equal sign, quotation mark. The folder name is I, capital P, H, O, N, E, 2.2, .2, quotation mark. Then come on over to file name. You can tab over twice to file name and type capital F, I, L, E, capital N, A, M, E, equal sign, quotation mark. Type in I, capital P, H, O, N, E, dot S, W, F, quotation mark. Then you want to tab over, make a backward slash, and a less than sign. Once you've done that, go back through the line that you have just added to make sure that everything is perfect, all your capitalization and all this punctuation is perfect. Once you've done so, come up and hit the X on this Word document and a window will pop up to ask you if you would like to save the changes. Click Yes. The window will go away and you now have the iPhone theme. In order to disconnect the phone from the computer, you need to close out all of these windows. Come down beside your clock, you're going to see this little safely remove hardware icon. It's a different icon for Windows Vista, but you'll see that it's this uh, safely remove hardware wizard. You need to click on that one time and remove the USB mass storage device. And there you go. It is now safe to remove your phone and you have the iPhone theme.